Hey guys, this is Mr. Winters. In this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make one of these birdhouses. I'll take you through it step by step. First thing you're gonna need to do is get the wood that we need. So if you're gonna build one of these, get my help and I'll help you get a board that you can use. What we need is a board that's 3 fourths of an inch thick and three and a half inches wide. First thing we're gonna do is cut this board to 42 inches. Okay, once you have a board cut to 42 inches, you need to bring me that board and I'm gonna use the table saw. I'm gonna do two things. First thing I'm gonna do is rip the board to three and a half inches wide. And then I'm gonna resaw it in half this way so you get a 3 8 inch thick board. got the board cut to three and a half inches. It's now three eighths of an inch thick and then 42 inches long. So now I'm just going to run this through the planer to make sure that it's all even. Because I'm going to cut three pieces five inches long. Okay, I've got three pieces that are five inches. Now I'm gonna take what I have left, I'm gonna cut two pieces that are five and a half inches long. Okay, there's two pieces five and a half inches long. Okay, last thing I need is take what I have left, I'm gonna cut two seven inch pieces. step is to take our two five and a half inch pieces. That's going to make the front of our birdhouse. So I need to do a little layout to get these angles measured. So you're going to take your five and a half, five and a half inch pieces and you're going to measure up four inches on each side and make a mark. Okay, so I measured up four inches on each side. Now I'm gonna use my combination square. This angle right here is a 45 degree angle. So I wanna set that even with that line, just like that. And I'm gonna trace this angle. Now I'm going to flip it over and repeat. So those are two 45 degree angles using the combination square. Okay, now I'm going to go to the miter saw. I'm going to set it to 45 degrees and I'm going to cut all four of those cuts. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out where we're going to put this hole for the bird to go in and for the hole where the little bird stoop goes. So I'm going to take one of my fronts, I'm going to measure down two inches, and then I'm going to measure down four inches and make a mark. So I have a mark two inches down and four inches down. And then I just want to mark the middle. These boards are three and a half inches wide, so I need to set my combination square to one and three fourths. Okay, that shows me where to drill those holes. So now I'm gonna to go to the drill press and I'm gonna drill a big hole and a small hole. For the big hole, we're using a Forstner bit and it's one and three eighths of an inch.
Okay, now for the small hole right here, we're gonna use a 3 16 inch twist bit, and we only wanna go halfway through this board. That's gonna be the bottom and the two sides. And now we have the front and the back. But so far, we've got all of that. Now I need to take my two seven inch boards and we need to cut the edge off of one of these. So you're gonna take these two boards and line them up like that. I'm gonna take my pencil and trace this line right here. Now once you have this, bring this to me and we'll use the table saw and we'll cut that line right on the table saw. The piece that we just cut will go here and we'll have an equal V. It's time to start putting this birdhouse together. So when you have all seven pieces ready to go, you're gonna to wanna to have a wet rag, a bottle of glue. We're gonna use the brad nailer. And inside of here, we have 3 fourths inch brad nails. First thing we're gonna build is the bottom and the two walls. So I need to put a line of glue here And then I'll shoot two nails into the bottom. Now I'm going to put this wall right there. I'm going to wipe all that glue. Okay, so there's the bottom and the walls. Now I'm gonna put glue along this whole U shape and attach the front and then the back. Before I put the roof together, we need to mark where we're going to drill these holes so that we can hang the birdhouse. So you're going to take your two pieces of roof, put them together, and you're going to measure down 5 eighths of an inch. Now I'm just going to take my birdhouse and put it upside down right on that line. Then I'm going to mark the other part of my birdhouse. Okay, once we have those two lines, we're going to drill a hole right where these go together. Okay, now that part was kind of tricky, so if you need help with that, just get me and I'll help you get those holes cut. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go glue this together like that. You have one piece that's thinner than the other. You want to take the thin piece and put the glue on the smaller piece. Next step, I'm going to use a 5 16 inch drill bit, and I'm going to 
drill into that hole just to make it complete as a full circle. Okay, now we have the birdhouse all complete. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna fill each one of these little holes with some putty to cover them up. And then I'm gonna sand the whole thing with 120 grit sandpaper and then 220 grit sandpaper. next step on this project we've got everything assembled so now I just need to get a dowel rod to go into this hole this hole is 3 16 of an inch so you want to get a dowel rod that's 3 16 of an inch and then I already had one that was cut at two inches if there's not one already cut just get a dowel rod use the bandsaw and cut one of these to two inches and that'll fit right into that little hole right there There we go. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of these nails. These are one and a half inch finish nails. And I'm gonna use a pair of lineman pliers. So you see how these are real thick, nice long handles. So these are real powerful pliers. Bend this into a hook. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the very tip of the nail. And I'm gonna fold this nail over like this. Then I'm gonna take the pliers and pinch that together. Then I'm just gonna straighten this up the best that I can. There we go. Use a drill with a 1 16th inch drill bit. And I'm gonna drill a pilot hole right in here for that nail to go. There we go. Next step is get a piece of string. So get yourself about two feet, at most three feet of string. And then we're gonna tie a loop knot on each end. So you're gonna take your string, fold it over, And then you're just gonna do an overhand knot. So you go like that, and then through the loop. Cut my tag end. And I'm gonna tie another loop knot on this side. So I take this and fold it over. Make a loop, go through the loop. Okay, now I need to hook, I need to hook one string onto one of the nails. Then you run it through your roof, up one hole, down the other.
There we go. So I've got two more steps that I'm gonna do on my project. I'm gonna use the propane torch and I'm just gonna to torch the roof because I think that looks cool. So I'm gonna leave the birdhouse normal and natural and I'm gonna to torch the roof. And then I'm gonna put my oil on to finish up the project. Okay, there we go. We got our birdhouse all finished. It's gonna make some little birdie a happy home. Be safe, have fun in the shop, make a lot of cool things. We'll see you on the next video.